Can you see any joints on anything? Can you figure out how this unit was made? Probably not, because we designed it in such a way where it was cleverly done, where you don't see two 18s together or two 25s. It was made so it just looked seamless and made as one whole unit, which would have been impossible. Even that bulkhead unit, when we put that up, that was like 50 kilos, wasn't it? Morning everyone and this is the final day of this fit of these two media units. We're on day three or part six of six. So I'll spin the camera around and show you what we're doing today. See Sean's marking out a few trims on this one. Let's go over this one first. Basically all we need to do on this one is two side trims, a top trim, pull the cables through by drilling a couple of holes in that top trim for the lights and put six bar handles on and then that will be finished moving on this one's a little bit more in depth got quite a bit to do on this one um, let's start with the simple bits we have handles to put on i do have this jig but i forgot the clamp which is unfortunate one of those squeezy clamps otherwise i would have used that so i'm marking old school way Masking tape, pre-drilling, unpacking all the plank handles, which is going to be a nice touch. All brass finish, by the way. Really, really nice. So on this unit, we're going for these small knobs. And on the other side, we're going for these handles, these bar handles. So I need to unpack all of those. We've got four doors to hang up at the top. And then we need to put hydraulics on two. The two upper ones have hydraulics. We've got one trim at the top to go and um, we're not sure whether we are scribing around the coving it might be one scribe and one cutting to the coving spoken to the customer and he's okay with that it's a pretty long trim so we need to just be careful with that one because it's got a joint that's been filled on this one here we need to build out with some strips we've got some 25 mil rips of mdf to build that out um 77 to be honest three strips come to 77 which is funny um but that is what we need and then we're going to put a panel up against that and then we've got a trim to go on the front. So basically one trim, one, one side panel, one trim, four doors, all the handles. And um, that's about it. Apart from putting some caps on some pockets, and what we're going to do with those is we are going to put the pocket caps on. Obviously, we can't get the correct color. But once they're on, we're going to touch them up with the blue paint. It's the only way we can get an accurate color match. So yeah, we are at um, 8 o'clock, just arrived at half 7, we've unpacked, got things ready, spoke to the customer, made sure, made sure that he's happy, and yeah, it's going to be the whole day here until we complete. So I'll just keep you ad updated as we um, do things. Um, yeah, so follow us on the ride of the last part, enjoy the video. Right, so to fill in the pocket holes, we've got these pocket caps from, from Pocket Plugs uk and luckily enough we've got some navy blues didn't think we did but they are matching really nicely and they should just slip in like so obviously you need to be glued in but not a bad match and it saves me touching up with paint so happy about that we've got one set there we've got another set there we've got another set there so we've got about 15 pocket holes to, to fill shouldn't take long okay so we're at about half past 10 doing not too bad um, over on this side, Sean has marked out the trims. He's outside cutting with the jigsaw and the plungy. I'm putting some masking tape on the doors to mark out these bar handles. Again, forgot the, the clamp for the trend jig. Otherwise, I would have used that. I don't want to use a metal one. I wanted to use one of these um, rubber tipped ones, but yeah, I don't want to risk scratching the door. Um, over in here, good progress. I've been on here, concentrate most of my time in here today for the past three hours. I've got the six door handles on at the bottom. I've got three of the four doors on at the top, knobs all on. And I have also, I've also put pocket caps over the pockets. And there's about 20 to do. They were blue already, so, that, so I didn't have to touch those up. So I'm simply just going to hang this in a moment. I need Sean's help to get that on the top because that's going in that space. As you can see here, we've got this flap here. It's not lined up. There's nothing to stop it. There is a hydraulic going in here, 
which is down there. So my thought was the hydraulic, if I set that up properly, that will be the stopper. If not, I'll have to think of something nice and smart to use. But um, yeah, I'm going for these gas struts. 80 newton meters is what I had left over, and I think they're a little bit powerful. I would have preferred 40 or 60. If that's the case, I'll literally just swap them over in the future if they're too tough. But that'll do for now. This one is bigger anyway. And there is a fair amount of weight when you're trying to lift up one of these anyway. So I think they should be fine. Um, yeah, so good progress. And like I said, half past 10, we, we've got all day today. So even if, it, if we finish up four or five, something like that, I think we'll still be happy with that. Um, so yeah, left to do on this is just get that one flap on with the two hydraulics. Then that's all the doors done. One trim. Two trims, side panel, done, really. That is it. Sean's um, brought one trim in, trying it in. Let's pull that tape away. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that scribe. Let's have a look. Oh, anyway, I'll let Sean have a bit of peace here. He's trying this in. Um, a little bit of tweaking, maybe. But he's, he's getting there. Um, it's a tight fit because we've got a ledge here which we don't want to damage where his hand is. So, um, yeah, just need to just line that tip up as he's trying him. But happy days, he'll have that in in no time at all, I'm sure. Uh, these are the handles I'm using over here. We've got six. I really do like these plank handles. Uh, probably the best place to get handles, to be honest, plank. So I need to just work out where these holes are going to go. And then I'm going to pre-draw those and get those fixed. Whilst I wait for Sean to free up a bit of time because I need to because I need to get that flap in. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on. Get close to the end. Sean's been marking this side panel out. I'll show you the detail in just a bit. He's rigged up a little bit of timber up the top to work out the length of his side panel and the front trim. We'll go over that in just a bit once um, we get a little bit closer. Uh, the flaps are on now, and we've got these little hydraulics. This one is a little bit underpowered, but it still makes it a lot lighter. So I may increase that to 100 newton meters. This one is 80 newton meters, but it still makes it a lot lighter. This one is done. I need to put a little door stop on there because the hydraulics weren't adjustable to give me the position, well, to give me the door stop where I needed it to be. So tiny little door stop needed, maybe a block painted right in the corner. But um, yeah, and let's move through. So I've been working on these um, doors, juggling a bit of both, to be honest. That's how I work sometimes. I go from one job to the, to the other, otherwise you get a little bit bored. This one has been dry fitted and it's working nicely. All the biscuits slotted in really nicely. So I'm going to pull that out in a minute, glue the biscuits up. The same as I did yesterday in the last video. I'm going to glue that up, push that in because I know that lines up nicely and it's a nice detail. Um, I've marked out all my handles. Um, and I've just marked them so they're all ready to pre-drill. I'm simply just getting a block on the back like so, pre-drilling through the front face with a 5mm drill bit with that block in place, um, making sure it's centralised in all ways, height and width. Screwing it on as I go along. I don't want to do this one just yet because it will be in the way of my trim, so I'm thinking let's get this one done. Then I can just finish that door off the handle, work my way along, get those handles done. So there we go, all the biscuits are in, glued in on that edge, and we've got the glue on this face too and inside the slots. Okay, that's the best I can do for the moment. I haven't got enough time to figure out um, filming positions, but yeah, it should just slot in. I've tried it in once before, but as everyone probably knows, as soon as you've got glue on something, it all goes tits up. Always the way, isn't it? Especially being filmed. Right, well, told you, once you put glue on, it changes everything. Yes. I think it's a little bit twisted. There we go. It's quite tight up against this ledge, so. There we go. 
nhỏ của chơi này There we go, it looks a bit brutal putting it on but we wanted to get those joints tight even though it's getting corked. Happy with that? I am super happy with the way these are coming out so far. Absolutely lovely, if I can say so myself. All that's left to do is the top trim and the side trim and I'm going to simply glue that in the same as the last one. That trim is in now and all that's left to do is the top. This is what we got. I need to adjust this door to the right. I've got quite big gaps across, like three and a half fours there, there, there. So I'm going to just move those over to make them kind of like, hopefully get them around two and a half to three mil each. Now all the uprights are in. It's just a matter of just getting this top trim in. And I've got this one here. It's in two pieces. We've got a hole drilled. We've got two library lights coming around this point. So the cable needs to be pulled through. I've drilled that one. It's stopping. We've got the joint stopping there because most of the light fitting is going to cover that joint. That was the thinking behind it. So, um, also the biscuits don't line up very well as in, in relation to the width, the trim and the add on strip at the top. Um, so I need to, well, we've had to pinch two mil over there. I'm going to have to have that trim two mil away from the left just to make it work and use zero biscuits. I need to put biscuits in, otherwise it won't um, hold itself on. So anyway, I'm gonna do that. Glue up like the rest and hopefully it'll be fine. But before I do that, I'm gonna do a little test run first dry. Okay, all glued up. I was gonna just put a little bit of glue on the top of these uprights, just a little blob, nothing big. Ready to put this trim up. Okay, I need to make sure I get this cable through. I don't, I am screwed. Pass that through with the 10mm hole I drilled. With a flat bit. Getting a nice bit of resistance between the uprights and the ceiling. And all the biscuits also just helps to keep it in its place. It doesn't pop back out. That's it. Enough glue on there, I'm not going to go mad. That's all I'm going to do. I'm happy with that. There we go. There's that top trim in. Let's have a closer look. There's that corner. Right, all I need to do is cut this trim to length. Sean said that it just needs trimming to length. Now I've got the overall of this trim, so I'll do that. Also, I'm going to drill that hole in right on the end of that trim too to pass this cable through maybe a little bit bigger than 10 mil maybe a 12. officially done on this side one o'clock not too bad hey day and a half in up to now because we usually leave at about 4 35 so i'm going to class it as half a day but we're all good we'll run over it all right at the end but i'm going to concentrate all my energy into getting this one complete because this one's probably 95 percent there um, just need to sort that side panel out and set the top trim and we're done on this one too. I did say I was going to show you how we're going to do that detail and let's run over it here. We have got the side panel here. We are adding on the front trim to this section. So it's blue obviously there. And we've got a side trim going on here. So yeah, um, we're going to bring that in and show you exactly how it all works. Okay, so it's coming up to three o'clock. Um, I don't think we're going to finish at half past four, a little bit too tight, too much to do. Um, this top trim is getting cut right now and I'm just putting on that strip right there. So the side cheek has gone in and let me just show you what it looks like. So this is a void. This bulkhead was built out um, by the designer to allow for curtains to run in and out that void. So we have had to put a panel in. You can't see anything in there. It's all dark blue, um, which helps us really because we hide the joint at the back. We didn't need to worry about the joint, just can't see it. But basically it's a side panel, step back 18 mil, and we've just packed it out with three um, 25 mil strips at the front and at the back. Um, but before we brought it in, we screwed all of these to this panel. 
So it's like one whole piece and we put it in place and then six screws, two, two, two is holding it on. Then we have this strip which has been pre-painted on one edge there because that is going to be effectively the scene edge. It's going to finish off the panel a bit like this. So I've got a little off cut here. Imagine that was the scene edge. That's just going to sit on like so and finish it off. Obviously up against that trim, but um, yeah, that's what it's meant to do. And that is the detail. So I'm simply just going to glue this on in a moment, finish off pumping the screws into that panel, and then I can just glue that on and uh, I'm done. All right, guys, so that was a long day. To be honest, it's been a relatively long three days and a very long overall fitting experience, taking into account the mistake I made, obviously. But let's quickly go over everything because it's getting late. It's five o'clock. We've been here since half past seven. We're packing up. We've been fiddling around with the pelmet right at the top um, as the finishing part that we had to do. But there we go. All done. It's really, really high end, this one. It's. Um, the finish on it is the best finish I have um, achieved since I've been making furniture. Really, really high end. This is the Vinites paint from Amicus, and it is literally to die for. So I'm getting HVLP finishes with an airless sprayer. Okay, so generally you only get this with a HVLP where it just sprays out really slowly. Um, this is 1K also, not 2K, so it's water-based and doesn't have the smell when you're spraying it. So absolutely awesome. If you want the link, go to the video description and you'll get 5% discount off anything from the Amicus website. So I highly recommend you do that. But it's all done. Slow closed doors, shaker style. We've got sockets going in the back. We've got light cables coming through the top because there's some library lights being screwed to the pelmets and yeah electricians gonna come pretty soon all fixed shelves um, they've been screwed all the way around for strength they're 43 mil made out of 18 and 25 to be absolutely solid as a rock so they won't sag with weight of books and it's got the art deco look where we got that rebated look and that was quite pretty handy because it was kind of like a little joiner piece but I quite like this unit because of the art deco look probably one of the nicest units I've made I like the chunky borders. I like everything about it. Kim, the designer, Kim Tasker, absolutely amazing. Check her out, check her website out. Let's move over to the um, TV media unit, I call it. Um, it's a random design kind of unit. Um, again, Kim designed this. It's dark blue. It goes with all the walls and that was the idea. I think it goes with everything. The handles go with the floor, the handles go with the color. All the handles were from Plank, by the way, all these brass style knobs and T handles. Absolutely lovely. Um, we've got this space for the TV panel. We've got sockets um, in both the lower cupboards, all flat style doors, um, inset look on everything. So you see the frame, all the framework was made out of 25 mil. And as you can see, can you see any joints on anything? Can you figure out how this unit was made? Probably not because we designed it in such a way where it was cleverly done where you don't see two 18s together or two 25s. It was made so it just looked seamless and made as one whole unit, which would have been impossible. Even that bulkhead unit, when we put that up, that was like 50 kilos, wasn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Weighed a ton. It's a little bit dirty. The pelmet at the top is sticking out a little bit. It doesn't look finished at the top because the customer needs to remove that because he's fitting a projector to the ceiling. So we've done our best to get a good scribe up there. Got cables coming through for lights, but it's all done basically. Oh, one other thing, we've got hydraulics in there. So that holds the lids up in place. All of these are soft closed doors. On these doors, as you can see, we've allowed for three hinges on these little doors just because it's kind of like a wide door and quite stubby in height. Um, yeah, but I'm going to leave it like that. I hope you have enjoyed the six part video. If you did like it, feel free to like and subscribe. Also, feel free to become a member. Cheers, guys. Other than that, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it all. Have a great Friday. I'll see you next Friday. Take it easy. Ciao for now.